Alright, so before we get started with chapter 10, I actually want to go to the store. Now that I have, uh, about 47,000, uh, <clears throat> halos, I want to see what I can buy, if there's any, th any good items. I've been using a lot of healing items you lately. Got halos. I got items. The Welcome to the foundation of a barter economy. I can't buy any... Well, these aren't weapons anyway. These are the alternate items, right? Uh, what accessories? Ugh, I can't really afford anything. It's the first time I'm really looking at them. I can't afford jack shit. <clears throat> How about items? I could buy the greener lollipop. Is there anything else? Red Hot Shot. I forgot what this is. A wondrous demonic medicine that can save a witch on the brink of death. Automatically used when vitality is depleted. I'm gonna buy that. The Red Hot Shot. Oh, and you can actually buy Witch Hearts and Moon Pearls, too? I didn't even know that. I didn't know that. Huh. Alright, I'm thinking about buying one right now. I've been okay with my techniques, even though I didn't buy a lot. Uh, I think that just the weapons that I've been unlocking have been pretty good, and I haven't needed really too much else. You know what? I'm gonna buy... I'm gonna buy a Witch Heart. Nice! It actually increased! It was a whole witch heart. I didn't realize that. I thought it was a witch heart piece. No, it was a whole witch heart. I got more health. Sweet, dude. Wow, okay. I need to, uh... I'm gonna save up the 50 grand to get the next one, then. That's awesome. Alright, onwards to chapter 10. Oh, I forgot I'm in the Star Fox outfit. Yeah, this is a new day of gameplay, guys. I'm starting up a new session, so if you're watching this on YouTube, you don't know. This is, uh, different from the last video. Alright, chapter 10, The Depths. Well, now we've done it. Jean. <clears throat> All right. Whoa, shit! Christ! A flying centipede or millipede or whatever the fuck that was. We got a book and we got a challenge over here. Let's see what the challenge is. Scared me. <clears throat> so far, I've been able to do every single one of the Muspelheim challenges, so... Let's see what this one is. Defeat all enemies, which time cannot be activated. Alright. Why am I... Oh, another dude spawned behind him? What is this? Oh, they have super armor because of this asshole. I was like, why can't I hurt them? That's bullshit. Alright, I killed him. Yeah, baby! Oh, spank him, spank him! Got him. Yeah, these most time challenges, compared to the first game, these are a pushover. Seriously. These are way easier than the first Bayonetta. Alright, we need three more pieces. Oh, that was cool playing a Star Fox sound effect when I got the heart. I love it. I love it that it's playing Star Fox sound effects. You know, I actually hope that uh, I find more outfits, but this one's pretty sweet. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Look at this. <laughs> yes, charge up the R wings. I love it. Alright, what do we got here? Overseer of the Inferno. 
Inferno, the cruelest, most ruthless place in existence. Humans are said to end up in this hellish world upon meeting an untimely end. In Inferno, power controls everything. War between its demonic inhabitants is endless, and it doesn't, it isn't common, excuse me, for rank to quickly change hands. It's been picking up a, a thing or two about the place at this bar I've been frequenting. Recently, like in our world, there are some strange things occurring, and the denizens are starting to get a little restless. The owner of this bar advised me to keep my distance. Told me it might not be a place where I could get by on my good looks alone. Like that place exists. Even if it did, it's not like I could find my way there even if I wanted to. I keep mentioning this bar, but I'll have to keep its particulars to a minimum. I've made a deal with the owner that I won't disclose its location. It's too good of a source of information to leak where it is anyway. Okay, a hint. It's a bar in the same city as the office my dad left behind. The bar keep... Wait a minute. The office my dad left behind? Why do I get the feeling they're trying to allude to Dante's office in Devil May Cry? I almost think they are. The bar keeps a low profile, tucked away in one of the darker parts of town. I wouldn't say it's the best place to take a date, but the owner's always got good stories. I end up getting most of the info I'm looking for there. It doesn't come cheap, though. When you catch the bartender in a good mood, he'll tell you some strange tales. Worlds that are like something out of a kid's story to us. Paradiso and Inferno. He speaks about them with descriptions so realistic that you can get lost in the story pretty easily. And before you know it, you've been listening to him talk the entire night. He's a strange guy, though. A few rare times I get a look past his sunglasses and those bloodstained glowing red eyes. The gaze is so chilling, I think it might freeze my very soul. He always says you won't find a nicer angel anywhere you look, but something tells me that he's just your run-of-the-mill demon joke. That was way too long of a, vlog, of a log. <laughs> okay. Uh, there's an area over there, there's an area this way. Uh-oh. Oh, you fucker. I tried to jump and attack, and instead she flailed the wrong direction. that it? God damn. Okay, that's it. So it looks like I can either go this way to these platforms on the right and items, or I can go that way, up those platforms further on. I kind of want to go this way and see what's over here. So I do see items. And I won't lie, items interest me. What do we get? Another one of these Midas Testaments. I don't know what they do. I never used one. Oh, great. Two of these assholes? What? You attacked immediately. Dodge properly. Hey, okay, torture him. Oh god, look at this! Spin a Rooney! Looks to kill them. Okay, grab me. I couldn't see what was going on. But I get. Ah, an LP piece. Excellent. Alright, so that was an optional thing to do. Yep, LP piece. An optional LP. Uh, I don't think there's anything over there. It doesn't look like there's any ground to jump on, so let's head back. Eeho! Ya la 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 la! Uh, wait a minute, where's the platform? Right here. There we go. Uh, 
What happened here? I left behind an item by- Oh no, it's a bird. Fuck! God damn it! I gotta try to sneak up on it. Which means I have to land gingerly on the edge of the island. Yeah. Fuck! God damn it, I'll try one more time. This is a pain in the ass because you gotta land and not walk forward by accident or it alerts the bird. Nah, fuck this. I don't care enough about the stupid stamps to, to care about every single one. <laughs> Sorry, I don't use the Miiverse stamps. I'm not seven years old. I mean, it's definitely nice that, the, that Platinum Games tried to add in stuff that's... Oh, God! What the fuck? Well, forget what I was saying. I don't know what's going on now. I can't even dodge. I'm trying. What is this supposed to be? I guess I'm on rails here. I just gotta dodge the centipedes. What the fuck? I'm supposed to know that was coming? What the hell? What a... Oh my god. Oh! This is disturbing. <laughs> okay, gold medal, sure. What the fuck?